welcome to Kitchen Basics 101, where I teach you the bare bone basics as if you have never cooked a day in your life from the perspective of a mom. The kiddos have been sicko and they got me sicko and so I haven't been here, but I'm back. I tried to find the comment so I could respond, but I couldn't find it. Um, but someone asked me about oven settings. So we're gonna have like a little talk about different types of oven settings and what it means before we get to roasting. My oven is roughly 18,000 years old um, and she's broken. If you were here at the beginning when we started the series, she's still broken, but we use her. Okay, here we have bake, custom broil. Don't worry about auto clean. You probably shouldn't use that anyways. A lot of ovens will also have convection, okay? So bake is what we're gonna use majority of the time. My one's a little dirty because we use her. So there's a heating element at the top and a heating element at the bottom. When you use bake, um, the, both of these heating elements may get hot or just the bottom heating element may get hot, okay? When you use broil, just this top element is going to get hot and the heat's gonna come from the top down. So if you, when I say that we're gonna roast something in the oven, 99% of the time we're gonna use the bake feature. But if you wanna get a bubbly, hot, crispy top, then you're gonna use the broil feature. So in this case, you would wanna move your rack. These racks come out and they move. You wanna move your rack. Oh, hold on, husband's coming in. Okay, I moved my rack. This is sliding now up here. So you wanna leave enough clearance. You do not want the food to touch this coil, but you do want it to be close to this coil so that it will get all bubbly and crispy on top. You would only use broil for a short amount of time. So imagine we make a potato gratin, and now we want it to get all bubbly and brown on top. We might move it up to get a nice crisp. But 99% of the time, you're gonna wanna use the middle of your oven so that you're getting even temperature from the top and the bottom elements, okay? So quick review. We have bake, that's what we're gonna use most of the time. That's just warm air coming from the top and the bottom and heating the food. Oh, then we have broil where the heat is just coming from the top and you're gonna move the rack up so that it's close but not touching. And if you have something that's greasy, make sure you leave enough clearance. You don't wanna catch fire. You don't want it to touch the heating element, but you want it to be close to the heating element so it get bubbly and crispy on top. So that's broil and that's bake. Convection, is essentially the same as your air fryer. Convection means circulating warm air. Um, convection holds a nice temperature even better than bake, right? Beep, beep, let me back up. Broil is also 500 degrees. There's no way to set the broil temperature. So bake, you can bake 350, 375, 400, 425. Broil, 500 degrees. So it's ripping and roaring, okay? Convection, you can choose those same settings, 325, 350, 375, 400, 425. You can choose those same settings, but in a convection oven, there's a fan that blows the warm air around. It's the same thing that happens in your air fryer. You set the temperature and it blows the hot air around. Now, the reason that convection cooks quicker is one, it holds a great temperature, but two, it's circulating that air around. So if you'll find things will cook up quicker in the air fryer, one, it's a smaller contained unit, gets hot quicker but also it's because it's circulating warm air around the food. Does that make sense? So if you don't have a 25 year old broke oven, it probably has the convection setting. So you can use the convection setting on your oven as an air fryer. Obviously it's a lot bigger and it's like more to heat. So if you have a air fryer, then use that for smaller portions. Um, Convection is a great way to cook. Bake is a great way to cook. That's when we say roast, we really mean bake setting. Um, and like I said, if you want to get like a nice sear on something or a bubbly top, then you're gonna use that broil feature. I think that's everything. Do you guys have any more questions on the oven? Bake, broil, convection. I think that's all I got. <laughs>